मीना सन नमस्ते निहंगो नो ईपीजी नो पाठशाला कोसो वता शिवा खन्ना अनीता देश नेहरू दाय गाक दे निहम बुंका बुंगाक सुस्ते मोतो मोतो निहंगो ओशे ते मास क्यों नो मौजूर नो दाय वा निक्की बुंगाक देश सुस्ते पे पावा निहोन नो कोदाय बुंगाक एगो ओतोस्ते वेलकम टू द ईपीजी पी पाठशाला टुडेस लेसन इज अबाउट द जापानीज निक्की बुंगाक इन इंग्लिश वी कैन से the japanese poetic diaries diary could be a misleading word here but these were special diaries of period when women of intellect were many but they were powerless without any recognition by the power circles or the court life which was primarily dominated by the men of the times so there was one instance a poet who was a scholar of chinese poetry and i have referred to him in the previous lesson who wrote a model which women can explore in order to give a vent to their feelings whatever they felt and it gave a flood of information about the japanese society that is first hand information as well as the emotions and the way it functioned needless to say it was the development of kana script japanese vernacular which facilitated this channel which in the years to come became one of the most prominent feature of the japanese literature in the form of ai novels these diaries as we can make out from the poem written by the first writer or the pioneer of diary literature kino tsurayuki can be understood when we read his first stanza or the opening lines of his diary which reads otoku mo suru nikki to yu mono onna mo shite mimu tote surunari in other words it is said that the diaries are written by men but as a woman i also take initiative to write a diary here you have to remember that the writer of this diary is not a woman as it is mentioned here but it is a scholar kinotsurayuki and why he did not disclose his identity can you guess i'm sure you have read about the development of chinese script which was being used by the scholars of japanese literature also but due to the difficulties of chinese script it was far impossible for the common person or even uh, daughters of the aristocrats to master it and once the kana script was available and it was officially confirmed by the writer like kinotsurayuki who was a scholar of chinese literature the door was opened for the niobo or the ladies in waiting engaged in the court to vent out their feelings and write 
in using kana the scholar the author is a man he did not disclose his identity because of the social stigma attached to the writings in kana or the newly developed vernacular script so he doesn't disclose his name at the same time as a japanese he has emphasized in a previous forward to the anthology of japanese poetry that it is not kanji or the chinese script which comes under the purview of japanese script but it is the kana which is the japanese script in true sense like this once it is upheld as the native script women needed some model to use channelize their intellect again it was kino surayuki who by writing tosa nikki a travel log from the province of tosa to the capital that gave them a sample or a model on which they could work on and the results are tremendous and marvelous so we consider tosa nikki more as a men's diary and the actual women's diary to be kagero nikki which is actually written by a woman it is contended by the scholars of japanese literature that this diary by kinotsura yuki was written to vent out his feeling of sadness for the death of his daughter young daughter who died while he was in tosa the very thought that he they are returning back to the capital without her could be the main sentiment which he as an official could not have expressed and that is why pretending to be a woman he wrote it in the form of personal diary tosaniki otherwise has mostly the banquets and an atmosphere of travel every port he touches he is welcomed because of being on a government mission and when he leaves that port for the next destination he is again gets a send off from there like any travel log is more of a concern or little apprehension about the long sea travel so in his capacity as a governor of tosa returning to capital he couldn't have expressed his personal emotions so openly as he could do in the use of kana and by hiding his identity like this whatever the reason was it gave a excellent opportunity for the heian women to utilize kana and we have the first diary which can be truly called as a women's diary as kagero nikki kagero nikki was written in 935 and the state of the mind of the poet could be very well imagined from the opening lines of once there lived a woman leading an uncertain life with the good days gone by and the present still uncertain this diary symbolizes the short lived marital bliss of the writer after her marriage and how once she conceived her first child or the only child it her husband is alienated and doesn't care for her any more once the child is born guzamar is a small insect with a very short life the author of kagero nikki does not disclose her identity like the writer of tosa nikki and in the opening lines as the writer of tosa nikki kino tsurayuki has hinted about the theme of his 
diary she also in the opening lines expressed as i mentioned above she introduces herself in third person in the form of third person narrative she looks back at her life when she was young and the marriage to the minister the most influential minister of the time and to the present which is grounded in harsh reality the author introduces herself as a person of low confidence and self esteem and in her younger days she would spend her time doing nothing in particular as the contents unfold we come to know this has not been the case always as the author was reputed beauty or one of the three outstanding beauties of her times which looking at the yardstick for beautiful implies that she was also well versed in the literary accomplishments and was gifted with the talent of composing poetry these are the qualities which are amply reflected in her diary she was related to some of the literary figures of the time and her father fujiwara no tomoyasu was the governor of ise province and a graduate of literature now if we look at this uh, diary the author started penning the diary in 970 ad and began it in the form of remembrances of her childhood and about her marriage here she exposes her innermost thoughts like her expectations from the marriage and how frustrated she was when her dreams did not realize and how she got out of that what consoled her was the presence of her child Michitsuna and the author writes in third person refers to the to herself as Michitsuna no haha the mother of Michitsuna which indicates that it was her son Michitsuna who was the focus of her life and brought her joy as well as hope the diary is divided in three volumes The first volume covers the period from 954 to 68. The middle part of the diary covers the period of 6 years between 965 to 71 and the third volume stretches between 72 to 974. It is in the third volume she accounts the growing of of and the maturity of her son Michitsuna who is well behaved and is a constant joy to her so she is also able to enjoy the beauties of nature and the changing seasons and also find solace in her surroundings yet the awareness of her advancing age is the only disturbance she has and she expresses there are a number of waka poems exchanged by her between her husband as well as other women of the court the diary also includes other developments like the activities of her husband kani he is the minister of left and the top aristocrat of the time and is visiting other women sumagoi kekkon was prevalent a puta sai means one man and multiple partners and sumagoi kekkon means man visiting the wives house and staying with her and then has the right to return back to his own house as and when he wanted 
thus it reflects the moral standards of that society as well as on the status of women thereof a man like her husband who was a court noble could have so many affairs that he did not even remember some of those kagero nikki resembles the travel log tosaniki in many ways first of all in spite of the happy atmosphere there are strong shades of gloom and despair similarly the waka techniques are employed very skillfully and there are a number of waka poems which are intermixed with the prose narration some are included as references from earlier collections and some are composed by the writer himself or herself there are 60 poems in tosa nikki whereas the writer of kagero nikki who must have been equally accomplished had no identity of her own also in both the works the power of religion which is buddhism at that time is manifested how in what form i think in tosa nikki which is a travel log but still whenever there is some sign of danger we find prayers to buddha whereas in kagirunikki it is buddhism which provides the ray of hope in otherwise unhappy married life of the author the two diaries i have discussed are themed on travel and unhappy married life or you can say married life of a typical heian woman the next diary has another dimension that is of a blind love between a court lady and the prince named as izumi shikibu nikki the diary of lady izumi shikibu which was written around 1007 the work has a number of poems intermixed with the prose and the theme is of love and intensity or the passion here i would like to point out that the diaries which were personal possessions of the author were not discovered before the taisho period which is 1912 or we can say early 20th century we can say that the the existence of these diaries was discovered as late as taisho period in other words early 20th century and on the basis of the remarkable content and the diction and poetry narration the diaries named after the author izumi shikibu who is remembered as the most passionate poetess of heian court she was well groomed in the literary arts which is reflected from the poems included in this work which number as many as 150 all the poems are known for its intensity of love and intellect she hailed from a family of middle level aristocrat and her father oino masamune was a ceremonial officer in the court Her mother was also in the service of the queen of the emperor Reize in who ruled between 968 to 969 Although the facts about her life are not very certain but it is sure that she was brought up in an atmosphere close to the court circles She got married to Michi Sada Tachibana and had a daughter from the marriage but 
Her marriage did not last long as she developed an intense affair with Prince Tami Taka. This affair ended due to the death of the prince at an early age of 27. It is said that later in her life she served as a lady in waiting or Nyobo to the Empress Shoshi also and became a competitor of Murasaki Shikibu, who was Queen's favorite lady in waiting. Her diary starts with the grieving Izumi Shikibu as she was grief struck after the death of Prince Tame Taka, her lover. Now, upon receiving a message in the form of an orange flower from the younger brother of the demised prince, whose name is Prince Atsumichi. She wonders about what to reply and then quotes a poem from one of the anthologies of Waka saying, I am reminded of the scented sleeves, wonder about the person of my past. It clearly shows that she is still engrossed in the memories of her demise lover and was not in a position to accept the proposal of his younger brother. In the second part of this diary, it seems the author and the younger brother of the prince exchanged poems and eventually the relationship ended in the realization of love between the two. The younger brother of the prince was barely 24 and was already married and the diary goes on to describe the consequences of this affair. Izumi Shikibu, the author, had many rumors attached to her reputation and she has been referred as lady of no great repute or importance in some works. Also, the opposition from prince wife who was from the Fujiwara clan is also accounted and it seems the wife had decided to walk out on him. As we have seen in the three themes, banquets, the status of women as well as the love affairs of the Heian court, the other themes include like the lifestyle of the aristocrats which we find in the diary called Murasaki Shikibu Nikki, who accounts the ceremony of childbirth and the different festivities associated with it in the house of the man who was most powerful, Fujiwara no Michinaga, as a regent for the emperor and was at the helm of political power. Murasaki Shikibu, because of her sharp insight into the human behavior also, expresses not only the lever ceremonies and the banquets organized and the eloquent events associated thereof, but also about the behavior as well as the state of mind of the other officials, people around her, especially her contemporary ladies in waiting. And also at times her diary accounts the personal life in the form of reminiscence about her married life and the birth of her own child. Needless to say, this also is dotted with some of the best poems composed by the writer. And like this, there are a diversity of themes we come across through these diaries, which give us the image of a 
ailing emperor who eventually is on the deathbed and takes the buddhahood just before his death how the priest is called and this is the diary of his nurse who was again lady in the waiting nyobo similarly these diaries are so much in tune with the time that when towards the end of heian period the decline of aristocracy is reflected in the diary of the author who indicates that the only solace in this life is in the name of religion and society is doomed to be in the decline and chaos which historically looking truly reflects her sentiment so we can sum up that these are not the historical documents but a true picture of the heian society which is considered to be the golden age of literature creativity especially the literature by women the poetic diaries and the stark reality of their actual position